Hey everybody, Carl here, and uh, uh, we're here with the, uh, the second video, uh, part two you might want to say, of uh, this thing about doing our uh, scales and, and understanding the neck and, and why is it so important and what's the benefit of this. I mean, you know, I, I can just learn a song and play it and everybody's happy. Uh, and that's cool, if that's what you want to do, that's great. But if you really want to understand the neck and understand, and most of all, this is the cool part. Once you get this down and you get this kind of wrapped around your head just right, uh, you'll have the knowledge, you'll be able to listen to a song, figure it out, like let's say you hear it in the plan and you're... And, that's, and that sounds like that first chord that they're starting on. Okay, so... It, Yeah, okay, so it's it's in the key of A. Okay, well now, how do I figure that song out? Well, by knowing what's in the key of A and knowing my neck, I'll be able to probably figure that song out and eventually be able to play it because uh, it's following the music theory that we need. So uh, let's take a, a quick look again at the... Uh, uh, what we kind of looked at last time. Okay, if you remember, here we have the key of A. Remember, we said we jump. So the key of A has A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, and G sharp. And then the last one, you go back to A, and you're in the next octave. Well, uh, that's good to know, and we because we know that all these work really well. Okay, most songs that we use the chords uh, that you find in that key. Okay, so in other words, if you're if you're playing in A, uh, the chords that that fall, you know, like the B chord and the C sharp and D, uh, they're all gonna follow, and they're, they're gonna fit. They're gonna they're gonna sound okay in that. But most of your songs, the 99% of your songs, uh, they're made in what we call the the one, four, five, or and it's it's taken the first, the fourth, and the fifth uh, letters in that key, and those are the those are the main chords that are in the song. So for A, it would be A D E, you know, like A. D, E, back to A. And most of the songs, and they they'll use them in different patterns and different ways. But that's the main ones are gonna are gonna be that. Now the and, and then those are all major chords in that key. So the A naturally is a major, and uh, B is usually a minor, so okay, you're going to that B minor chord, uh, C sharp. Okay, same thing. That's that's usually a minor also. And there's a and the theory gets real real deep on how that all works. And I'm, I'm just these are super basics. Now the D is going to be a major, and the E is going to be a major. Okay, now the, the F sharp, that's going to be a minor, back to A, see where that for. And, and the G sharp, that's like a, it's like a diminished, uh, Chord and we don't really use it all that much uh, for what we're doing here. Don't worry about that that last one, uh, the, the the number six you might say, or the number seven you might say. Just be concerned with uh, the first six, and and just with those, you're going to be able to figure all kinds of stuff out. Okay, now we looked at it in the A. Let's look at it in the G. The G is the same thing. When we sit down and we figure out 
you know what is what's all the notes of the of that key we find out it's G A B you know the jump there to C then back to the tone C to D E and that last one's at F sharp and then we go back to G now if we think about the one four five and um, there are so many songs that are in the key of G and they use the one four five. It's here's your G to C back to G and then let's try D. So I mean you've heard that in, in a ton of songs. So knowing that now you can figure out a whole slew of different songs. Uh, another good one uh, uh, to now the A should be a minor, so let's go to minor. Back to a, a G. And the, the B should be a minor too. Back to G. To C. And then the D, that's a major two, back to G. And then the E should be a minor also. So with those right there, we have a ton of stuff that we can figure out. Now let me, let's swing you back around again. Okay, so when you're doing your, uh, you know, because not only do you need this this knowledge in your head, but you need to start putting it in your fingers too. Okay, so like I said, with the A, let's let's look and see what we're doing. We're gonna we're gonna stay right in here. We're gonna go uh, vertical in our pattern. So let's this is our E string, and we want to start with our lowest. Tone, so let's go to you know, F, G, A. Okay, so that's that's that'll be our first one. Okay, A. So how does it go? Okay, now let's, let's re remember what we're looking at, and you need to write this down. So you you know if you don't have it right off the, next to you, you write this down so we know where we're going. Okay. And let's do a real simple one to get started. Just and then and then you can go from there and figure all the ones out that you want to figure out. So like I said, we're on the E string, and there's our F G A, and we're going to start. We're going to do our A. We're going to do just a real simple uh, uh, run on our on our A. So uh, we have our A. Now, we skip one and go to the next one, which is a B. Now, we could stay on the same string, and because we jump one more, B doesn't have a sharp, so we go to C, C sharp. Well, like I said, instead of going horizontal, let's stay vertical. So, on our, so we have A, B. Now, let's drop down to the A string. And we have A, A sharp, B. Well, we already hit B up here. So we want to go to the next one. So that'd be C sharp. So C, C sharp. So we have A, B, C sharp. Now, this is where we do the semitone. We do just drop one. So we from C sharp to D. Now we skip again and do a whole tone. So we go up to E. Right? So now what's our next one? F sharp. So let's go down to the D string. Okay, we got D, D sharp, E. Well, we just did E, so we don't want that. Uh, no sharp, so we go up to F. And we want F sharp, so we go here. Okay, that's our F sharp. So we have A, B, 
C sharp, D, E. Now on the next, we, this is we know this is our F sharp. And we, what we do? Well, we do a whole tone again. And so we, that's our G sharp. And we found round it off with our semitone. And now we're back to A. So we're back. This is the root A. And now we're back to the next root. So we go. And right there we're doing the scale of A. Now, we can continue on and just by, we know that that's an A and we want to stay in this pattern. So we're going to jump up to the G string, right? G, G sharp. A, A sharp, B, okay, so that's the one we want, so over here, that's our root A, and we know that that's a B, and we want to skip one, and here we make the one jump, see, and we can go on and on and do that, and <clears throat> so the best thing you can do right now uh, if you, because once you get those little patterns done, uh, when we get into like the uh, the other scales, uh, uh, you're gonna and, and those are the ones that we're gonna really use a lot. Uh, this training is gonna help you. It's gonna help build. And you know what? Uh, take your time. Go nice and slow. You don't have to be fast. Because when you practice these things slow and you practice them and practice them and practice them, uh, you, your speed will increase naturally. That just comes with it. Now, one other thing that I want to mention, uh, and I'm going to put a link below so you can find this. Uh, if you don't have a metronome, you know, that's one of those tick, 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 keeps time. You really want to start to practice with a metronome. There's a really, really good... Uh, app that you can have for your phone. It's on Justin Music, and I'll give you the link to get that. Uh, and you can set your phone down and use that as a metronome and practice. Tick, 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 tick. And you do that, and once that you feel comfortable with that, you turn the speed up a bit. And pretty soon you're going to little, 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 and, and it's great. So, uh, okay, take this one right now. I don't want to go too crazy with it, you know. <laughs> so, we're going to do this here, and, uh, and I'll see you on the next one where we're going to jump in a little bit more, and we might even start talking about uh, the pentatonic scales, which is. Uh, it's basically what everybody, if you're going to play lead or little leads or whatever, knowing the pentatonic scales, major and minor, uh, changes your world completely. Some guys live by just doing one pattern of the pentatonic scale. I mean, they make a living. So, all right, I'm not curious anymore. Um, thanks so much.